This is the rock. And first of all, I'd like to say, uh, give our praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakudash. Double honors to the prophets and elders of great hills, so who will well and who I'm constantly learning this truth from. I'd like to start off with uh, this image, these images, because that's all they are, are images. And they're false images and idol images. There's only one power, and his name is Yahweh. And it's only begun son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh means he is, he is to be. Yahweh Shai, he is the deliverer, the anointed, our uh, redeemer. And uh, <clears throat> this goes out to the whole world that of Israel, which is the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, and these speckled birds scattered around the four corners of the uh, planet, whose lineage go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Again, uh, I'm looking at these images. These are what people on this planet worship. Look at this. Idols. You know, you read Daniel. You know, you read uh, a few books in a, in, a, in, a, in a Bible, and it's going to tell you about these idols. Look at them. But let me go to uh, the book of uh, Ezekiel, starting at the sixth chapter, second verse, and it reads, Son of man, set thy face toward the mountains of Israel and prophesy against them and say, ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Thus said the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh to the mountains and to the hills, to the rivers and to the valleys. Behold, I, even I will bring a sword upon you and I will destroy your high places and your altars shall be desolate and your images shall be broken and I will cast down your slain men before your idols. And I will lay the dead carcasses of the children of Israel before their idols, and I will scatter your bones round about your altars. And all your dwelling places, the city shall be laid waste, and the high places shall be desolate, that your altars may be laid waste and made desolate, and your idols may be broken and cease, and your images may be cut down, and your works may be abolished. Yeah, uh, this, this, these things are going to be destroyed as well as the people who used them and who worshipped it. All of this is going to be destroyed because it is written. You know, it's going to be done, done away with. You know, let's go to 2nd Esther. Let's go to 2nd Esther. Uh, 8, chapter 50, verse, and it reads, for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter times shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. But understand thou for thyself and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. For unto you is paradise open. The tree of life is planted. The tree has come to prepare plentiness. It's made ready. A city is built and rest. It's allowed. Yeah, perfect goodness and wisdom. Now, uh, that's what the, uh, the ones that Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh said, the, the elect of Israel, that's for, that's for them. And hopefully, uh, I'm, one, I'm one of them as well as the other brothers that's out there uh, doing a lesson of teaching the truth on the highways and byways. You know, But that's my hope, you know, to be, to, to be one of the hopefully elect, you know. Uh, let's go to... Uh, 56. For when they had taken liberty, they despised the Most High, uh, uh, through thought scorn of his law and forsook his ways. Let me read that again. Second Ezra uh, 8 and 56. And the read for when they had taken liberty, they despised the Most High, thought scorn of his law and forsook his ways. Moreover, they have trodden down his righteous and said in their heart, There is no power. Yeah, at that knowing, they must die. For as the thieves are forced, said shall receive you so thirst and pain are prepared for them for it was not his will that men shall come to naw it wasn't his will you know for that you know to, to, to happen to him but it, it's gonna happen it's gonna happen because it was 
first, first of all, you know, you, you, if you knew the truth, you, you went back, you done, you know, and you relying on this, this kingdom, you done, because this kingdom, you see what's going on with it, everything falling apart, crumbling, you know, and you still won't, you know, you still refuse, you know, you still scoffing, you still doing what you're doing, then you join in hand in hand with these, with, with these devils, you know, okay, let's go to 60, for 60, but they which be created have to follow the name of him that made him, and were unthankful unto him which prepared life for them, and therefore is my judgment not at hand. These things have I not showed unto all men, but unto thee, and a few like thee. Then answer I and said, Behold, O Lord, now hast thou showed me the multitude of the wonders which thou wilt begin to do in the late times, last times, but at what time that's how what time thou hast not showed me. Now uh uh, what thou hast not let me read that again verse 63 I was supposed to stop at uh, 62 but I'm going to read verse 63 again and it reads behold O Yahweh Bashim Yahweh side now hast thou showed me the multitude of the wonders which thou wilt begin to do in the last times but at what time thou hast not showed me you know we'll get to that in another I can read on but uh What's happening with the, with that? This is uh, he, you know, he he's showing uh, Esther's, you know. The, the these visions, you know, and Esther's asking asking uh, the questions, you know. Uh, let me see. Okay, now this is Second Esther's nine. Uh, yeah, nine and one. They said he answered me there, and, and said. Measure out the time diligently in itself, and when thou see, see his past, I mean, see his parts, other signs, past which I have told thee before, then thou shalt understand that it is the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in, in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of these things with the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world has a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest, even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings of wonders and powerful works, and endings and the effects and signs. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed, ye shall be, I mean, shall be preserved from the said perils. And shall see my salvation in my land within my borders, for I have sanctified thee, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Then shall they be a pitiful case which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. And that was those, you know. They, you know, even even before, you know, I, I you know, uh, Yahweh brought me, Yahweh brought me into the truth. You know, I had favor, and you know, I didn't know the, the, the true name of, of the Heavenly Father. I didn't know, you know, but He still showed me favor. And then when I when He brought me into this, Yahweh brought me, Yahweh brought me into this. I knew right then and there. Okay, I got to, I got to do what I need to do. I got to straighten up. He so too much love and favor on me already for me not to recognize, you know, not to give Him praise. In his, in his name be Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And I always, when I wake up, I say, Barakatai Yahweh, I pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, I praise and glory. You know, call a little blood, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That you must do. You know, if it, you know, if it, look, how can't you not do that? You know, how can't you not do it? Okay, let me go to uh, Romans 3 and 3. Romans 3 and 3. And it raised. But what if some did not believe? So their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah without effect? Yahweh forbid. Yeah, let God, let, let the Most High be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sins and mightest, mightest overcome when thou art judged. Yeah, so regardless of the unbelief, you don't believe or not, it, it doesn't matter because it's not going to stop the, the problem. It's not, it's not going to stop it. Let's go to Gal Galatians 6 and 8. It's not going to stop it. 
Galatians 6 and 8. And it reads, For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. For he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. And let us not be weary of well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good. And to all men, especially to them who are of the household of faith. Now, uh, you know, you, 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 you keep what you're taught and do what you, you're, you're taught by the elders, possibly great millstone, you know. And, uh, and uh, the elders are down, you know. You go to these camps, you learn, you study, and you keep what you study. You learn it, you know, and you do it, you know. It's not just by hearing the word, but doing it also. You know, it's in the, the roughly paraphrasing in the scriptures, but, you know, uh, and for the people who don't, you know, they don't believe that they think this place is going to go on and continue to do what they're doing, so be it. So be it, you know. But uh, let me go to uh, uh, the, the, the seventh verse, you know, because it, 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 it speaks for itself. Uh, and it reads, Galatians, Galatians 6 and 7, Be not deceived. Most high, Yahweh, by some Yahweh's sight, is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth that, shall he also reap. You know, you reap corruption, you, 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 know, you, 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 you know what's happening. Corruption can't inherit the kingdom. You know that. You're going to be destroyed. But he that soweth to the flesh, or the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit, shall the spirit reap life. Everlasting. Yeah, you know, so that's that's the bottom line, you know. So I would, you know, my advice is to get get in the book like I'm doing and, and keep studying. Go go to the camps, you know, get, you know. Get out there, you know. Do what you need to do because that's what I'm doing, you know. And hopefully, you know, I can be part. I can be part of the elect, you know, because I'm trying to get out of here. Can you not see what's going on? You know, get off of worshiping these these idols. Get out of them the the, the churches built by hands. You know, because that, that's not gonna that's not gonna get it. You know, it's, it's not gonna do anything for you. Look, that's what, basically this is what you're doing. This is what you're doing. You're worshiping these 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 things, these monstrosities. Look at this. Come out of her, my people. That's what the scriptures say. Look at this. Crazy. This is crazy. Can you not see what's going on? Wow. Can you not see? Can you see not what's going on? Look at this. Look at these headlines. Definite destruction. It's coming. It's already here. We're coming into it. Now, you people who thought that, that, that what you've seen in the third world countries, what you've seen overseas, and wasn't going to come here, you better wake up to your nightmare. Because to the righteous, that day come when we say it up out of here, Lord will, uh, I'm part of it, you know, it'll be nothing but a dream. And with that, I like to say, Shalom.